And basically this is what we're gonna be talking about in this video, the slide. And that is actually the most basic form of it. And what I wanna show you guys is the power slide. And that's when you start combining your boost, which is your double jump into a more powerful slide essentially. And you can call it wave dash, and you can call it whatever you want. We're just gonna be sliding around on the ground using our grapple. I love grabbing guys out of ejecting titans, but uh, I think this may actually be better. Because what I like about it is that it lets you maintain speed at stupid angles, and it can be a lot smoother than that. Like, just look at this. None of none of this is altered. I just want to show you guys how how good this is, and this is why you need to 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 spam it. I think one of the skills with the grapple is combining it into a combo, and you need that boost and then the second grapple to steer if you want to stay on course, right? Because it naturally wants to throw you upwards, so the the second grapple keeps you all leveled out if you want to like explode onto somebody but I think if you can't spam the grapple this is not gonna work for you you have to be able to spam it to to truly boost yourself on the ground if you want to go upwards then you can take your time then it's all about uh, aiming and if somebody's too far from you use that second grapple and just pull them in that was not even me that's why I would have done it though <laughs> see a guy in the room I'm already itching to go in there it's, it's my new thing. You're gonna notice, uh, yeah, in one of these next clips, uh, I never go inside. I'm not really an indoorsy person, but this is turning me more into that indoors player. Okay, you can call it luck, call it skill, whatever you want. I honestly knew he knew I was coming. Like, we've already looked at each other. I just shot the giant laser at him. Of course he knew. But then I thought to myself, I'm like, well, if I'm fast enough, I can do it anyway. So I ended up on the last door, but, you know, he knew where I was coming from. But, you know, if, if you're able to do it smooth enough, I think you got a real chance. You can throw it into your, like, every, it's, it's just an every, everything, everything time to grapple. I, I use it to just stay off the ground. Unless I'm coming up on something, I, you know, you want to touch the ground eventually because it gives you back that double jump. Touch the wall, touch anything, right? You, you just want to make sure you're going to hit a surface at some point and... That's really what we're doing with the grapple is when you're sliding, you're always hitting a surface. So you're always like, you, you're building up inertia. You, you're ready to go at a moment's notice. You're just a loaded spring on the ground whenever you're sliding, because as long as you have some initial speed behind you, the grapple will just grab onto that and take it wherever you want it. I think the the best ways to do it, I, I think it actually comes, the, the closer the better. I'll say that for, for most beginners. But if you can spam it, it doesn't really matter where you hit the grapple as long as you can get that initial tug and then grab another one to get back onto the ground. And if you have your feet on the ground, you always get back your double jump. That's the whole point of grapple. When you get really good at grapple, you're always timing out when you're hitting a surface because then you know when you have your double jump back. And that is the key to doing good grapple stuff. And then I just find it, it's, it's just so smooth to use and, and you can you can manipulate it in so many ways. But if you cannot spam it, you will not be able to take advantage of half the things you can do with the uh, with the grapple. I don't know if you noticed, but you can actually grapple and melee at the same time. And you can continuously spam the grapple in between. So that's why I think I also do so much grappling is because it pairs up so well, or so much meleeing because I, it pairs up so well with the grapple. By the way, my I figured out my problem. We're gonna have sound back, which is gonna be awesome. To be honest, I miss sound. I I, I think it, you know, it, you guys don't get all the cues I do. That was a quick double back. I love doubling back, especially with the grapple. But uh, some of you guys know know me too well. Who was I playing a lot like the other day? Uh, Arctic. Yeah, he saw me double back a couple times. He's like, I know you're coming. I'm like, I know you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, some of those were uh, too telegraphed. What do we got here? Oh, just some basic stuff. But uh, this is the game I chose, so this is what we're gonna do. Anyways, after this, I think we're gonna go back into some sounding videos. Man, I just miss the sound so much. I'm starting to forget what sound the L-Star makes. I'm not even I'm not even gonna try to make the noise. He missed his little melee. I wanna point that out. <laughs> he hit the wall. <laughs> it's like I jumped right over it. You're looking the wrong way. Did he not look like a Halo character there? Like a shield was all like, like someone had just hit him with a BR. I miss Halo. I'm still waiting for the new one. I'm actually super pumped. That's the only game I, I've been following. By the way, did I hear right that this game was hacked in, in some sort of way? Is that is that is that true? And when I say I follow Halo, I mean just enough to know that it's not out yet. <laughs> so I'm not really looking at any games too closely. And I only play this game so much. Like I don't play a ton. I, I've actually played probably the most in the last two months, in the last three days. So um, 
Yeah, I haven't had a problem, but I'm gonna look a little deeper. I know, I know Titanfall 1 was weird, so that's probably as far as I'll go into that. It's no, it's it's bad. I can't believe they sell that game in the, in the state that it's at. That's that's real bad. Anyways, as far as I'm concerned, uh, well, you know what? I maybe I will make a video on it. I'm I'm gonna go do some research and see how bad it actually is. In a sense, I may th I actually think it may actually be a good thing. It brings more attention to the game. I don't think uh, anybody who sells a game can sell it if somebody could just easily hack it and screw over uh, a good amount of players. So again, I'll have to do some more research, but in general, that's, you know, as they say, no bueno. So again, if you want to get into the specifics of sliding, we've kind of drifted off topic by now. You know how it is on these videos. Uh, I'm about to actually drift off to the next topic for the next video, but uh, before we get there, just practice spamming the grapple if you want to try more of these indoor things, because you're going to need to do it fast regardless of anything, but that is part of the technique in order to get the boost and then still steer yourself. I think really what you want to focus on with the grapple is just more control. Like when you're trying to boost yourself up to a building, if you want to know if you're doing it the best way possible, what you're looking at is for you to not overshoot the building. You want to just grapple just as high as you need to. Never use the grapple for any longer than you need to as well. Anyways, the topic for the next video that I want to do is actually going to be about uh, taking on multiple Titans and Titans that like to camp in one area because there's just a lot of that. And, you know, there's a few ways to go against it as an eye on... Uh, I found a few ways as a pilot, there's a few ways, some levels again harder, some levels easier, some levels are better. Uh, somebody does something that I like a lot in this uh, clip, but you're going to see kind of how I uh, deal with uh, people that like to camp. Like I think one of the most common things you guys have seen is how people are camping in specific areas on specific maps. On this map in particular, this dome is super popular. <laughs> Uh, they love making you come in there. Uh, the other place is obviously right behind me, the outside. That's where a lot of like people like to hang out. And I've seen that done with pilots and titans. It's it's strong either way. It's 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 definitely like trying to crack a nut. It's it's kind of hard to do from some positions. I find that the biggest thing when you're taking on multiple titans is first always stay uh, keep them all in one direction, right? If you're surrounded, you're done as a titan. Uh, so positioning plays a big part and then just kind of using your kit. It's hard for me to talk to you guys about different Titans because I, I do practically main the Ion. So you kind of have to play to, to the strengths of each Titan. If we try to cover every Titan in particular, it's, it's going to be it's, it's going to be hard because they all have uh, their way of approaching things. But I think usually what you do have to do is, is be somewhat patient and uh, look for your openings when you're taking on multiple Titans because usually you can't just run in there. If you try that, it just doesn't work out. So we're going to get a little bit more in depth, but this is what I love. Uh, I love this build for when there is a ton of Titans. I think on a level like this, it's probably pretty damn useful. Uh, just spam some Thunderbolts behind uh, an A-Wall. That probably does, that does sick damage. Anyways, that's pretty much for this video. And on the next one, we'll actually have some sound back end. I love sound. It's way more immersive. <laughs> And that's what we got to look forward to, guys. I know I took a long break. Damn, I've, I've been doing a lot of stuff on the stock market. I've been learning a lot. I've leveled up. I'm going to start moving into the options game. And uh, Lambos are behind the Wendy's, as they say. So, yeah, we're going to see how that plays out for me in the next little bit. <laughs> Anyways, that's again it for me. Again, thank you all for joining me. This is Paper. Cut to you. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Look at that block doing work. You can't use that. Not from that far. I feel like Judge Dredd in that scene from the first one where those guys are shooting off for the building. It's like, no, you can't do that. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Again, thank you all for joining me. Till next time. It won't be, it won't be as long as last time. No. I was really discouraged about the sound, to be honest. I was spending some too much time fiddling around with it. In the end, uh, it was just a lot of uh, updates that needed to be done. I'm not exactly sure what fixed it, but it's fixed anyways. It sucks that I missed that melee. That was almost perfect. But like most things in this game, sometimes it just happens too fast. All right, boys. Later.